Is it true what they say? Men and women really can't just be friends. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Make your money, move. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cream and getting money. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. So this morning, I was listening to none other than the breakfast club on my way to work which i do on the regular basis and they were discussing dating your platonic friend now this came up because recently actor blair underwood has gone public with his now new fiance who is actually his best friend of 41 years josie hart now, a lot of people supported and congratulated the new couple on their engagement. And a lot of people felt like, uh-uh, they've been messing around all these years. Because just about a year ago, Blair Underwood and his ex-wife, Desiree DaCosta, divorced after 27 years of marriage. So, the timeline showing that the best friend has been there before the wife, possibly. And she is now here at the end of the wife. And now she is about to become his wife. Now, many, many, many people feel like they had to have been cheating this entire time. Um, there's no way that he wasn't cheating on his wife with this woman. Some people are just not too happy about it and feel as though you just... There's no way this platonic friendship just managed to turn into a full-blown relationship. Now, according to Blair Underwood, he really, he literally described the relationship as a smack in the back of the head and had no idea that he would end up falling in love with his best friend. So my question is, what do you think about dating a platonic friend? Is it true what they say men and women really can't just be friends without some type of chemistry blossoming between the two? Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and I'm going to go ahead and drop my two cents in on the situation. I can't lie. I thought it was very interesting um, to see how quickly the two of them. It doesn't surprise me that he started dating his best friend because I feel like those things just happen. Um, and sometimes I really feel like, you know, I've had this conversation before where I don't really know about the man and woman being best friends things without something more becoming of it. And when I say that is because most of the times, if you didn't try to see if it can become more, eventually it gets there, you know, like you either try it and realize like, no, we're better just friends or there's that curiosity. Like if we were to just go to the next level, I wonder, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it's never just like, we're just friends. We've been friends all these years because look, after 41 years, he now realizes that this is someone he wants to not only date, but he wants to marry and she feels the same. Um, I can't help but to think that those feelings were there when he was married. Um, there's no way that this just blossomed over a year. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it was always there. However, it could be possible that, that neither of them ever acted on it. They probably both respected the marriage that um, he had. And now that he's single, it was like, well, let's give it a try. So I wouldn't go as far to say like they was cheating the whole time. It's very possible they end up realizing that they were more than just friends. But 
dating a platonic friend i don't think it's so strange i don't think it's taboo or anything it, it happens you know male female the chemistry is there and if there's an attraction then of course at some point in time that friendship is going to blossom into something else i i believe now if it's a thing where you, there is no physical attraction at all even sometimes then you end up finding yourself attracted to this person because your bond is so like so tight and the chemistry is there so it ends up you end up seeing this person in a whole different light and you can end up falling for them it's just it's just life and humans being humans honestly um I don't want to go as far as say there's no way men and women can be friends and nothing ever happens and nothing ever becomes of it. I'm not going to say that can't happen because it, it can. It absolutely can. Like, I have male friends. But to me, when I say I have male friends, that means we're cool. When I see you, we can kick it. Um, occasionally, hey, how's it going? Da, 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 conversation, chop it up, done. Um opposed to uh my best friend where i'm like every day hey what you doing da -da -da? let's go here let's go here let's go out we're constantly hanging out together i don't have that as a male like i can't see me doing those things with a man um and it not become something more you know like does that make sense like, I just, I don't see me having a male best friend that I'm not attracted to or that I don't want something more with. I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying I don't really see how it can happen. So, um, if this is a situation where these two have been messing around, you know, how you get them is how you lose them. So all I'm going to say with that. Um, but if it was a thing where they literally just realized like, hey, I think you might be the one for me. I think you might be my person. Hey, God bless y'all union and I hope it works out, you know. Um, can't fault the man for falling in love with who he fell in love with. And can't fault the woman for falling in love with who she fell in love with. Um, but it is a little, it's a little shady. It's just a little bit shady. I ain't gonna hold you. But dating platonic friends can be tricky. Because now, let's say this is a best friend. You are now, when you decide to date, you are now risking losing that friend. If things don't work out in the relationship part, you know? So it's a little tricky, but I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. Everything will be in the description down below. And Jenny is...